So I rolled in here pretty early, 5.30, 6 o'clock, and uh, just made some coffee and whatnot. But I'm at the flea market right now. I have uh, all the BB guns, the beads and BB guns in the bins, and of course they're locked up. Well, it was so cold, and I don't know how water got up into the locks, but the locks are frozen. So, it doesn't look like there's going to be, uh, it doesn't look like it's gonna get above freezing uh, for a couple hours, so. I think it, I think we're still on. This is the unveiling of beads and babies. Check it out. Alright, here it is, beads and babies. Nothing but beads and babies. Look at that. Now this is only about half of them. The other half. largest collection of Daisy BB guns. This is just a small fraction of what we have acquired. Come on out. I'll be here today for the rest of the day. Come check it out. Good morning. Well, the uh, flea market, the showing of beads and babies was a success, even though uh, there were probably more vendors than buyers. Um, but I was fortunate to do pretty well. Well, the sad news is gave up the Daisy 188. So that has been acquired as well as the single shot 1950s proto type boom gun um yeah had to let go of those right now nice and early in the morning and it is time to make some coffee another good thing happened was i made a contact with some folks over at Sutter Creek. They have a, it's more of a vintage style a swap meet. I was invited to attend that, which is next Sunday. Pretty well, it's weather dependent, of course. The weather is pretty wild right now. So it's, it's one of those kind of wait and see sort of things. I tell you, I thought that swap meet or not, it was, it's not a swap meet, it's called a flea market. I don't know why they call it that. I thought it was gonna be a wash, but, um, and as usual, the old timers out there in Diamond Springs, you know, we're all just a bunch of wannabe cowboys living out our uh, cowboy fantasy. I wasn't able to get any work done because I was just busy talking the whole time to uh, the various folks out there. And I always run into collectors. They're always more than happy to bring out uh, their vintage guns uh, the following week. So um, not next week, but the following week after that, if I'm around, I'll be able to see some of the uh, guns that some of the guys I met out there had um, I let them know that I would be there the following week. So I'm going to catch all of this on video so you guys get to see these rare 
rare vintage guns because these are these are guns that these guys have been holding on to they're in their 80s um 70s and 80s so and they got their guns from their grandfathers or their fathers or their grandfathers i know this is a bb gun channel but i'm gonna i'm gonna give you a little advice on camping because yeah no I bet you most of you out there that are into BB guns are also into camping, be it car camping, tent camping. Well, one of the most important things is to set yourself up for the morning. And I was just too exhausted last night and I did not set myself up for the morning. And boy, that makes for a frustrating morning. You know, until you can get that first cup of coffee in there. <clears throat> Yeah, I tell you, I'm glad the camera wasn't rolling at that particular point. Yeah, so the bad news of the 188 and the uh, boom being sold comes the good news and the good news is I've got all my rifles with me and I didn't sell the marksman pretty much all I got left to show you the marksman's not a daisy so um but ironically my marksman video which is not a daisy is the most popular video that I have and it's not a daisy this is called picking a daisy and the marksman video is my most popular video which means possibly that if someone out there wanted to start a marksman uh, BB pistol uh, channel, just marksman BB pistol alone, it would probably do very well. I'm not going to do that though. But dang, I wanted to show you guys that 188. I don't think I've done a video. If I did a video, I'll put it here. But man, yeah, that 188 was a really, I re, that's my favorite Daisy pistol, is the 188. They don't make it anymore. It's just a nice, smooth shooter, practical, sort of a lever action in a pistol. And of course, the 188s are going up in price. Um, I checked it out last night after I sold mine, which I got a, a, a fair price for it, but now, folks are selling those guns upwards into a hundred bucks, nearly a hundred bucks now. So, uh, yeah, if you got a 188, it's going up in price. And as resistant as I am towards collecting the pistols, boy, are they much more popular than the rifles, at least thus far. Yeah, kind of required. Now, lucky for you guys and me as well, this is the second cup of coffee. I wouldn't dare present myself uh, BC and before coffee. Let's check out the weather here, because, uh, yeah, all right. It's looking pretty good. Sunday, next Sunday, is looking pretty good. Partly sunny skies. So I think Sutter Creek is almost definitely going to happen. You know, a funny thing about style. My style hasn't changed since I was a kid. I've been wearing derbies and the clothes that I've been wearing since I was a kid. There might have been some, um, what do you call them, uh, some trends that I, I might have jumped on here and there, but pretty much I've stuck with the same fashion my whole life. Except for the hair. The hair, usually, it's rather really long or really short. And these days, my hair is so old and straggly that I tend to keep it short. I don't know that I'll ever let it grow long again. I don't know. Maybe. Some of you guys may already know I'm a magician. I've been a magician forever. And um, if you want to check out some of my magic content, um, you can find... Just follow the magic link over at Zeigler8.com. But if you ask me, coffee is magic. Yeah. It's amazing. 
our attitudes and our whole perspective changes like magic after just one magical cup of coffee. It's amazing. All right, we're back at it here at Diamond Springs Flea Market. Daisy and vintage gun items. This time we got some of the old advertising here. Oh, PlayStation thing? Oh, yo! 